we were looking for a software that could um, quantify disease pattern. Uh, we started with COVID-19 and uh, during the pandemic, we uh, initiated a, a study where we also wanted to quantify uh, the, the, you know, the, the disease burden, um, uh, ground glass opacity, uh, opacification, and wanted to correlate it with clinical symptoms. This was very, uh, goal of our, of our study. And then we were thinking about using the software also for interstitial lung disease, for, for COPD, and really to help our clinicians by quantifying disease and in, in the subsequent uh, to, to look for the, for the timeline, to compare disease progression. So it does influence our clinical decision making actually, and how, how we uh, talk and communicate with with the clinical the, the other clinical disciplines like the pulmonologists and thoracic tor surgeons so we, we can better better give them that show them our results and communicate with them I use context flow in any routine scan performed for example for staging or for other disease evaluation but it helps me a lot to recognize patterns in patients where you even not expect or where we not can see a clue what is the pathology behind it. So it helps us a lot as a double checker. I also like the nodule detection, which we have integrated in our PAC system, and we can easily select nodules we think context were identified, and we think they are relevant to follow up, and we can check them on different images so we can compare them between different scans of the same patient and how they develop. We are quite happy with the software. We, of course, compared it to our visual impression and it matches very well. So we are very confined that what we see on the software is really reticulation, is ground glass. Uh, it's, it's not perfect, but it matches very well. And also the help to uh, have a differential diagnosis with the search tool is, is very helpful for our residents and to, to be able to standardize their reporting in describing different patterns. So, so this is on, on the daily clinical basis. We use it on a daily clinical basis. And uh, if I'm confident with the, with the result, and that's almost always, uh, I put the major information also in my medical report. And this is what our clinicians now are expecting from us to, to be able to quantify disease and especially to quantify is there any disease progression, right or no. With every scan I read, I put, I put the pipeline to context flow, I first take a look myself and then I quantify my own impression with context flow together and in many cases context flow helps me to identify the most relevant information and to value it especially so it helps me to find important differential diagnosis, compare them and to, to validate my own, my own work and my own impression so I think context flow helps a lot to do better radiology reports.